We have to just be patient because he's got to want to crawl onto my hands. Come on. And he's very good at holding on to these branches. Here we go. Now he's going to come. Come, little Shunga. Lo, lo. No, you're not little at all. It is massive. I think you're in for a, a treat. Woo! And he's heavy. I won't be able to hold him up for too long because he is a giant millipede. How big is that? He is thicker than any of my fingers. That is how massive he is. Isn't that just incredible? And Craig says he wants to wear him on his head. Craig, you cannot wear a shongololo on your head. Don't be silly. Craig's full of jokes this morning. But now, these are one of my favorite little creatures. And it's so nice to see a big one like this. These are very, very difficult to find, few and far between, because often they get snatched up and eaten up before they can even reach the size. So this one has been very good at hiding away and, well, just making sure it stays out of harm's way because I'm sure there's a couple of hornbills, a couple of civets, maybe even a giant scorpion that's lurking in a burrow that could take on this beast. Now, we've got to be a little bit careful this morning. We're going to walk over here. And because, make sure I don't want to get my shoes wet. I, don't, I think we have to cancel walk because the grass is wet and I can't possibly wet my shoes. Just joking. But you can see that it's exceptionally misty out here. And it's one thing being in a vehicle. However, I don't know if I want to be on the receiving end of a buffalo in the mist. I think that that could be a little bit nerve wracking. So we'll probably take it easy on quarantine where we've got big open areas because safety is very important. And safety is the most important thing when you're out here in the bush. 